Hi, I'm Brandon. And I'm Mom. And welcome back to Tencent Talks TV. Yes, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, and Mom, how are you doing today? Brandon, I am doing fine. I'd say today is a rainy day for us, so all I can hear is the pitter-patter of the rain behind, um, behind us, but it is a good day. Well, that is great to hear. And Mom, what show are we speaking about here today? Today, we're going to talk about the Steve Harvey show, specifically the situational comedy. Yeah, so today we'll be speaking about the Steve Harvey show, which is a sitcom that aired on the WB television network from 1996 to 2002, over six seasons, produced in part by Columbia Pictures Television. That is correct, Brad. Yes, and so the episode that we're speaking about here today is titled Back to School, and it released on August 25th of 1996. Yeah. And Brandon, we're going to talk, like I said, about the premiere of first episode. And um, in this particular episode, Steve Hightower has been hired as a new teacher. And he's going to teach music in Booker T. Washington High School, which is located in Chicago. Um, this episode actually deals, deals with the first day on the job and um, him meeting the, the new principal. And then, of course, working with the students during that first day. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mom, for your synopsis you are welcome yeah and you can go ahead and go straight into your top 10 list all right so today i'm going to talk a little bit about the premiere episode and give some highlights there and then i will say that brandon and i well i have seen the whole series of um of steve how um of the steve harvey show and so i'm going to talk about some things that may not have necessarily been in the first episode also but it's really important for you to know about the series okay so first of all um steve was a former musician and he was in a group called steve hightower and the high tops um he's been hired as a music teacher and not only was he hired as a music teacher, so he thought. The principal said to him when he came into the office that he's also been hired as a drama and art teacher. So he will be doing all of these things while he's teaching the students. And he has one day to decide if this is what he wants to do. Um, his good friend, Cedric, is a teacher at the school also. He's one of the coaches. And um, he recommended Steve for this particular position. Um when Steve meets the his um, new boss, the principal, um, she treats him kind of oddly. And so it's as if he she knows who he is. And so um, Steve has a hard time trying to figure out why the principal is treating him the way he is, she is. But anyway, it goes on later on in the series. We do discover that um, Steve knew the principal um, and her name is Regina Greer, um, knew her while he was in high school. So they were actually old, quote unquote, friends a little bit, but or maybe not friends. But anyway, they knew each other in high school. Um, she had just changed. Um, and that's why he didn't recognize her initially. Um, we do know about this series is that, um, it, like I said, it takes place in high school for the most part, but the lives of certain students will be explored in this particular series, specifically um, Romeo and Bullethead are two of the um, characters who are explored throughout the duration of the series. Um, there are some other characters that come, come in a little bit later, but um, they do a good job of just having a central core of students that they concentrate on and the, and the lives and the background of those students were kind of brought into the forefront are brought into the forefront later. Um, just to look ahead, um, even though not in the first um, episode or even the first uh, season of the show, a new character named Levita is going to be introduced into season two. And her character is very important because she actually ends up being the love interest for Cedric. And so, um, so she's a character, as if you're watching the series, to kind of look out for later. And she does stand out. She ends up, she is the school secretary. Um, throughout the series, the friendship of Steve and Cedric, um, do, they do prove to be very important. They are so important that they eventually become roommates. And so, um, so that's important to know that their, their lives together are, um, are, um, explored. And then also the relationship between Steve and Regina Greer, the principal, will also be explored in great depth later. 
Um, and this show for me, it's not just a show that takes place at a school. Um, it's actually also about Steve's journey as a teacher. It, this is explored also in this particular series and it shows kind of how he grows from being a teacher to a, if I remember correctly he, he wants to be an administrator later so Brandon that is my top 10 oh thank you so much for that you are welcome Brandon yes and in analyzing uh, this episode a little bit further so we do see that the characters are introduced through Steve's introduction into the school and so and so as he's going through his day, numerous different people introduce them, um, themselves to him. And also that he has his friend Cedric, um, who is, I believe, a coach at the school, um, also give him the rundown as to who these people are. Although, as we see, Cedric is a unreliable narrator because, because he definitely um, leaves out many important details in telling Steve, such as that, um, that he already knows the principal and that he already knew that you know there wasn't enough budget to have you know numerous different um teachers for the arts and that steve would have to do it all and so and so this definitely uh, poses as a fun thing for this first episode something that continues a little bit later as well but but mom let's go ahead and head into our discussion all right brandon and just to talk about a little bit about what I know about the show, as I kind of mentioned, I have seen the show um, all the way through. I've seen it a couple times all the way through. I think, Brian, I think you've just seen maybe one or two episodes. Is that correct? I think I've actually seen about five or six. Okay. So you've just seen a handful of episodes. And um, I think they were some of the episodes I saw were just kind of like my favorite ones. I just kind of pointed to you and asked for you to watch. And so what were your thoughts after watching really the first episode? Um, I don't even know. Was this your first time seeing the first episode or the premiere episode? This is my third time. Your third time. Okay. <laughs> All right. What are your thoughts about the premiere episodes and likability? Well, I mean, I'm I'm not really, you know, picky and choosy with when it comes to um, sitcoms per se, and so, and so for me, you really have to do something to make me not like a sitcom. But nevertheless, I mean, it it, it seemed like a very interesting show, and yeah, you know, I've definitely have, um, yeah, you know, I mean, enjoyed it, and yeah, but I mean, to me, it feels like a I mean, it's sort of traditional 1990s sitcom. Okay. And um, one of the things I like about the show um, is that I like the comedy of the show in the sense that Steve Harvey sometimes has a little bit of a dry sense of humor, but he says things in such a way that, I mean, it makes you laugh. It does make you laugh. And his facial expressions while he's kind of explaining about some of the things. And then one of the things I didn't talk about in my top 10 was even though that he was part of a singing group, um, it's a fictional singing group on the show, they do talk about that later in the show. You do get to meet the people who were previously in his band per se or musical group um so you do get to meet the people that he has talked about that he talks about in the series um and so i just kind of like the way it flows i think it grows as a series as he um as steve gets to know his students um the students become really personal with him um but in a lighthearted way but they do bec um they become personal with him they go visit him at his house they um you know, he's able to kind of direct them in their lives. Yes, and having viewed, you know, these first couple episodes, I, you know, I do really like the interactions that Steve has, and especially, like, his his mannerisms when, um, when dealing with things and how everything always seems very unexpected that happens to him. So, yeah, so definitely very interested in, I mean, continuing to watch the series. And, Mom, would you um, rewatch a series for whichever number time this would be <laughs> yes i rewatch it i think your daddy and i have sat down many times watching this show um to talk about the theme song real quick um i'd have to give it a five um just because you know even though i'm thinking about it right the theme song right now it is still not one that kind of stands out as a if you were to hear this theme song most people are probably not going to know it is from the steve harvey show 
All right. And is there anything else that you want us to discuss? Let's see. Well, I just think that for viewers out there, if you haven't explored the Steve Harvey show, I say go to, and, and like I said, there are a lot of shows called the Steve Harvey show. So you kind of have to find, make sure you find the situational comedy. Um, and it's on a lot of different platforms that we discovered while we were looking for the first episode. And so go check it out and see if you like it. I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised that it's a nice, it's a nice family show that you're able to watch. Um, and you're able to watch the episodes multiple times and still think they're kind of, think they're entertaining well that's good to know and i definitely am excited to explore more episodes of the steve harvey show the sitcom yep yes I, i'm looking forward to watching them with you too brandon yeah well if that's it then we're gonna go ahead and end this here and mom i always enjoy you know, doing these with you Yep, I enjoy doing them with you also, Brandon. And for those people who are watching, you know, like I said, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Um, we've had a couple of requests and we'll be looking into them. And if you have anything else to add to the top 10 that I gave, you know, feel free to add that to those to the comments also. Yes, definitely. Please do. And be sure to continue tuning in to Tamsin Talks TV every week. Yep, please join us every week. But yeah, well, like you said, Mom, we'll have to see, you know, what we do next week. And I can't wait for us to do it. Oh, same here, Brandon. Oh, so, so, guys, thank you all for joining us today. Yeah, and we'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.